so really quite nice for me to be able to relax away from energy for a bit but the fact is salt water cleanses these um, electrical imprints huh. uh, <laughs> we're talking about ghosts does your soul have an aura so if you saw a spirit come to you a paranormal spirit okay so my people we are going to retrieve the the Samsung TV, guys. Um, it's, it's, it's a bit stormy now and raining. But to me, that is how I see the soul. This is what the, the baseline of it is. When you look at the soul, the soul is, is plasma. It's plasma energy. And everything that's energy has a signature. So if you look at an orb, and let's see, if you were traveling through time and space, how would you travel? You travel as an orb, wouldn't you? Because you can go the furthest in the least um, inconvenience as that ball of light, that ball of plasma. And everything that has an energy signature has an orb. It vibrates at some level. So souls do have auras. The fact with souls is we don't know exactly what a soul is. We can only support because no one's actually got a soul in a jar and said, there you go, that's what a soul looks like, that's what it right. is. We We're watching the Midnight Watch with Gerald and Jane. That could be soul energy. And the chances are soul energy would be a law. It would be a, the size of a small breakthrough in a law. The fact is that people reckon that when someone dies, the weight before death then they die and they wait after death and it's about two pounds that was lost when the body dies and that's been a, that was a scientific experiment that's the it's weight of the soul in the hospital they actually made sure that they they weigh people before and after death and the body goes down in weight after it passes so the soul leaves and moves into a different dimension they actually were very interested to say that the soul is, is, is a perpetual energy. It's that energy that vibrates and that moves. And for me, anything that vibrates, moves, or has a electrical system around it, which I think we all are, we're all electrical beings, has natural signature. And you'd be able to see a signature from that soul. I'm just going to bring that up. We, got, we need to get Robert and... We need to get these two together. <laughs> Robert's a good friend of ours, and he just yes. said the spirit and soul is a frequency signature of energy waves. The spirit and soul is a frequency signature of energy waves. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, come and talk to me, Robert. I'm really happy yeah. to, to discuss the things that I think. You, you mean, we just this arrived, is guys. Something about me, okay? I think that the more people we talk to, the more things we learn by conversations. Because everything that Robert is will add to everything that I am. And we can actually debate this level on what souls are and what we believe them to be and what the frequency of that soul is. Because yeah. there's, going be, there's going to be different frequencies. I mean, nothing is just on one frequency. Lots of things have different frequencies. Mm -hmm. And it could well be that the energy frequencies depict the actual level of the soul or the, the amount of... Um, energy within that soul or it could even depict how old or where that soul is because if we don't believe in time then the souls are ageless but the frequency will always be what allows us to feel it and see it hmm. so interesting right. wow